Hey, 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 welcome to the attic. I am Manadad here with my brother, Roby One Kenobi, Mythic number 196 or something right now, currently. He was up in the 120s, but the, it does decay. So, I don't think it's not the best true. rare. We I could, like, we could take is, one of these good snowlands. So, this is kind of silly. I think free is probably like, I think because black's like, it's a commitment to black and you might not play black, but it's also an option that nobody plays black and that black's just wide open. So, I value Freya as a first. I mean, why would you not take Valkyrie Sword or Kai's Onslaught though? Like, because free is because white is better and. Well, those cards aren't. Um, it's just a hunch. It's like it's like I go into these drafts hunching that if a lane is open, it's going to be like way open, and black is the lane that's been way open, and that's how I feel about it. I am actually take free as a just take powerful card. That's just it's just setting you up on the wrong foot. Take a Shvela next pick. So somebody took. And maybe they took a Shimmer Drift Veil, because, like, what... Or they could have taken a Pack Mate. Like, I don't know what commons you really take over this stuff. What would you take over Svella? Uh, commitment to... I don't mind going, like, Team or Snow, though. That, that sounds pretty good. Got a Rhymewood Falls here. So if we gone black, poison the cup would be pretty poison nice. Just keep that in mind. I mean, it's the the black white double spell deck is it's a deck. I mean, I don't like to lean into any snow deck. It's just a terrible. It's, it's just it's win. just it's risky, right? Because a lot of people don't. Right. I don't. I'm not trying to set myself up for it. Like here now, we're missing the Nothing snow on pick break. four. Um. So I think your Frostbite might be your best card here. Frostbite, yeah. Breakneck Berserker. Also a Rune of Sustenance. Like, we could end up red, white, aggro. Flash green. Flash blue. Oh, the card looks pretty good in the black, white, double spell there. That is a good rune. Get over Frostbite, though. I, I think that rune's really good. I'm a big fan of that rune. It's really strong. Let's just not commit yet. Let's look. We can get a second one. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty wide open. Rune of Flight. Oh, no, 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 no. It's not anywhere on the power level of uh, Rune of Sustenance. Oh, uh, no. Up in that so? on, we've already got a Bergstrider. So I guess. It's, uh, rune of Flight is much better for what we've got right here. We've got a Rhinewood Falls and a Bergstrider. It's just the well i mean it's i mean i like having double rune of sustenance not, that's yeah definitely like a game plan but it always feels like when the rune of flight comes on the rune crown that just feels like you just got a, a wings you know like it's okay seize the spoils now you're kind of a fan of this one i am a fan of that card yes and there's broken wings there too those are all those are both main deck pull to me Main deck rules, and certainly if you're playing best of three, you don't mind taking a broken wing. That's true. I think broken wings you can is... get a sheet crack at one. It does look like black is probably open, right? With village rights yeah, and uh, return upon the tide are sure. two of the stronger when cards. When I'm telling you this... black's open and how I made my lane th way to the top, black's open. Black's always open. You know, I know, but when I listen to your draft strategy, I often have problems so Yeah, yeah. You don't think the same way I do about the. I have my own ways to win. The format. Came very close to a 3 0 there in the previous draft. I had a seven win run. Um, playing Rainbow Sagas, okay? Rainbow Sagas. You have drafted a couple of my aggro decks there, pretty Yeah, yeah aggro decks are great. Like, I, I love getting into the aggro decks. Like, there's there's no aggro doing. deck right here in this pack, though. Like, I mean, I guess Glade Warden is actually better than. Yeah, it is. Find the monster is defensible. So in terms of like 
green, red, blue. We've just got we can cut green, I guess, with snakes. Yeah, veil. I mean, snakes can veil. I'm pretty sure somebody got into green, but the way down next to us with the um pack mate because I don't know what what common you would take over all those cards that we got past other than pack mate. Uh, Master's called actually might be interesting to take here. It could end up like so, some kind of Rainbow Sagas thing. I mean, could. Prison Seeker. Yeah, that was good. There's that. Uh, Kai's onslaught. onslaught came right back. Yeah. That, I was yeah. considering taking that. You were? Because you had just been like crushed by it. Mm, I wasn't crushed by it, but. <laughs> it's good. It's good. It's good. I've, I've had decks with two of them that are, you yeah. know, was... hard to defend against, right? Nobody expects it. You can take the pup here. Or you want the black? This is more splashable. I I think there's a rainbow deck with these lands, but we just seize the spoils too. I haven't seen seen it yet. All right, let's just take black because it seems to be open. Take helm here. <laughs> no, <laughs> I'm not. I'm not going into your. Uh... Aggro deck right now. Well, Helm's just so powerful. I mean, you got a spell. I mean, you're not any other way, and it's pack one. What's the best card there? Helm. Easy. Card's way better than the rest of the cards. Sorry. Doesn't matter what deck you're in. You just take the best card. You're in pack one. I haven't played, because I haven't played a lot of best of three. I think a null might be sideboardable. Playable, and a, it's sideboardable. I think the Coma is just so good, just, especially if you take a Raised Dragon. As we see, and, think black it might be a... You could be like a green, black, red, and splash red, splash... You let the... Uh, search for glory. We've got a Replicating Ring here. We've also got Blizzard Brawl. And, and Glittering Frost. Jeez. <sighs> Do many Christmas? Um... All these aggro red cards a, for you. I take a, you take the Tormentor's Helm or something, but... No, I would probably take, like, the Blizzard Brawl. So uh, yeah, we don't have removal. a ton of snow permanence yet. You don't have any removal. I don't have any removal. I think the Replicating Ring or the Glittering Frost. Oh, boy. What, no matter what we pass here, somebody's gonna... I mean, I yeah, guess, I I guess we have a good chance of wheeling some good snow. I think you take the... But the Glittering Frost the is going to give us an extra snow land and two snow permanents. For what, though? Nothing. For Bergstrider? And Blizzard Brawl, maybe? We can... Uh... Oh! Just come up. Boy, you got <laughs> Who passes Boy, a coma? Who passes a coma? It's packed, too. You can just change your whole plan. They, they, were, they were white, black, or something. Like, what? What? Passes a coma. Well, that makes okay, well, we're, Frost feel a lot better. We're playing coma. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm playing green blue. I think you can just take out the the shackles and you can splash for Swella. Then you, you just won't own that path. I mean, you gotta you gotta play some defenders here after this point. You gotta. Oh, there's a pack Cerulf? mate. And there's Sarulf. I mean, at what point is it just riches? Cerule so feels greedy, but black seems like an okay color for you. We uh, uh, go green. Meat's so good too. I, I, I you can't. So better than Strella though. Yeah. Well. I, I think on pack, a splash pack maybe mate. no. On a splash probably no. With the deck that's trying to get up to coma because you're not like pack mate is just so energy. good. Unfortunately, pack mate's probably better for you. I think Sir Rolf is. Let me look at my black cards again. Raise the Draugr, Infernal Pet, Coma's Faith. There's nothing pulling uh, me into black. You might want black, though. There's you nothing might... pulling me into black right now. I'm definitely playing green because I got Coma. Well. Let somebody else. Uh, uh, sculptor. Mistwalker's good and Sculptor is good. Sculptor can help us get to Coma. Hey, the Mistwalker just shuts down these aggro decks. And as we saw, that that's the meta right now tonight is the aggro decks. Is it is it better than the Behold the Multiverse? Because I would never pick a Miss Walker for a Behold. Well, that's because you're crazy. Because you need to like well, Miss Walker. I, know, I, don't think, who, I mean, okay. Who? Most people rank Behold over Mistwalker. 
True. I see Miss Walkers go like last three picks. Miss Walker is a serpent time. though, so if Coma comes down, I can immediately sacrifice really Mist Walker. Like, I think your draw stuff is. Strong I I just all I need to do is hold down the the board until right. I can get Coma. Mist, you want to play so. Miss Walker? You want to play Glade? And you want to play? Ooh. But the the cards that like pull people off your colors aren't like Miss Walker. It's like the draw stuff and Mirror Lakes. That's pretty good. strong. Inga's, Inga's not too. bad too. The Glade Walker, we wouldn't we drop creep. There's your Mist Walker. Mist Walker. I'm telling you, you can just have three Mist Walkers in a deck, and that's like a win con. I mean, like they're pre they're pretty good blockers. I'm not like in disagreement, and their shapeshifters are really they're valuable. And that's Vandal. Vandal. Pretty good. Yeah. Pick. I I do need to start picking snow. I think at some point. I, mean, yeah, I, I don't need I to, mean, I wanna, guess, but I would like to get a couple snows. for the Berg Strider. Yeah, yeah, you don't need to snow up your deck for Berg Striders. You just need a few snows. When with the Horizon. Um. A bounding gold would be a good splash. I think a nice high troll is probably the appropriate pick. Hope we get there Hopefully on make, snow. If you get if you get a couple more snows, great. Or is a pilfering hawk the no, safer pick don't. right now? That's a two drop. I like let us loot, loot towards coma. If you again, if you have snow, and if you're trying to loot, there's your ring. Oh, we're ramp to a coma. That, so that was the only snow loot. card that came back. Was the replicate? We almost took that. I was just snap took the replicating you, ring. You took the uh, glittering frost instead. Oh, the arcanist came back. You don't have any double spells, however. Right. But you think I would like pick. to get a double spell on? Well, I don't. You, you Broken wings, of, I guess. You don't mind that buying the monsters, but again, well, I yeah, the kin, like kin seekers is another good defensive uh, card uh, that also okay, can, so, coma so can just eat. Take, just take the arcanist. Don't take the kin seekers. You might get a double spell. I mean, Late. okay, sure. Oh, Disdainful Stroke's good for sideboard. Right. I do think this Arachniform is playable here in best of three. Like, I never really played it, but I was finding myself considering it a bunch in that last uh, draft I did for sideboard. I guess I'll take okay, this. So I mean, this actually lets us dig for Coma. Is crazy? Yeah, Am I just building like, too much no, around Coma? Really bad. I, I mean, like, I don't see how you just, like, hate on hold the multiverse and they're like oh i can dig with strategic planning no you can put stuff in the graveyard you can drop you can if you, if you have a Sika's chariot fire. yes Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> oh my god like, coma like, and a Sika's chariot how are you gonna lose uh the opponent's gonna get in under us that's how we're gonna lose yeah, yeah. i guess that's true um so we just need to be sure that run ashore of my will for you run ashore would be good for us too we've got two ramp pieces we got because we got one replicating ring and we've got one glittering frost i don't even think you place fella i mean you can I actually but have double strategic planning so i guess I, you do place fella if we do get a frostpire arcanist it's not. the rune of white seems lost in the deck uh if you get well a pick, we'll maybe. see we'll see Oof, avalanche call Not gonna get this the shot at this. Uh I think I think you just always take Avalanche Collar over the Snowlands, right? Because I think I think he can draw removal even in its worst scenario. Like even if I'm running him without snow. snow permanence, he's similar to Berg Strider where he doesn't need a ton of Mist snow. Walker. Maybe Mist Walker dot deck. Love it. You're going to see the power of the Mist Walkers. I'm going to change your mind on Mist Walkers. Well, I, you don't have to change my mind. I've been playing them left and right. I play them in the Giants deck. I play them all over the place. Well, yeah, in the, the deck. Giants deck, of course. I don't think they're better than a Behold the Multiverse. I think you'd rather have two Mist Walkers and a Behold the Speaking Multiverse. Speaking of splashing here, Squash. Yeah. If we had you taken like, Battle for Bredegard and gone down there. You have like white, no removal, though. No. You, you got you to gotta Squash. You, very well is what you want here. 
Also Harbinger. I'll take the squash. No splash here at this point. So you take the harbinger here. You take the harbinger. I don't know. I mean, I'm not like happy. I don't think you play the black, red land. Like red's barely a splash for you. That just seems slow. Now I could just wipe realm. Them. No, depart the realm is what you want, right? Do you have it? You don't have any. That's true. Uh, that's sort of like removal. I mean, I could take another squash. I got all these. Yeah, I guess you could take another squash. Right? Uh, shapeshifters. I guess you could take another squash. Those are your, your no removal. Or pick deck. seven, though, and then now there's no. What is no lands. The, What are they getting? A herald? No, the knights, the elves. Wait, nobody's wearing black. Or green, black, at least. Hard to. It's like you need like a. Um, yeah, you need a lot of elves, but there. look at how many shapeshifters we have. We got six shapeshifters, one elf. We could consider splashing it. I don't know what else we take here. The annul for a sideboard. Hey, snow cover island. Oh, there's uh, Agar. Jeez. That makes you feel a lot better about those two. Um, and maybe red is going to be more than a splash here. Certainly just going to be a splash. You'll just have four red cards, right? You take the run ashore. Raven's Warning is very splashable. I saw a lot of um, the sealed decks that made it really far ahead, Raven's Warning. Because huh. you could pull from your whole seal pool with it, you know? Yeah, it, Definitely an I, aggro deck open in this seat. Do we have any equipment? All right, well, our game plan is to play Coma. Um, easy game plan. And your chariot. And the chariot. I mean, if I just take out the red cards. <sighs> Almost just a deck right there. We do only have two, possibly three snow lands here, so... Blanche collar is not great. No, oh, it's same full stroke as a cyborg card. I think you run the four red cards. Yeah. No, broke away. Horizon Seeker really? can pull out uh, Snowlands. Too. Red. Yeah, and it can get you red. Played Warden's not Top end is good. Yeah, but it's all for those squashes, though. Those are, like, a big part of your staying alive here. Because you have no other removal. Mountains... Down to two. Got the glittering floss and the replicating ring. Um, that means I can mountains. have. What's, what are my early drops here? That monk collar harbinger. Pretty even. Thank you. Good 
that gives me eight blue sources, seven green sources. Counting. What is what are replicating your rings and I, stuff? I think you want maybe another swamp there. Your a swamp or mountain? I mean another mountain. Sorry. Well, we're just splashing like four cards. And remember, we got replicating ring and yeah, glittering frost. So, all right, so that's four sources. But you actually, have four cards. actually, we need to add one. And I think you then are are you even green or blue? Because you would side with green with the extra green because we need to hit the glittering frost and the horizon the, seeker. You we're a little we're tiny bit more blue than green. So I think if I you think this go... is a good this is a good split. Because we just have we have a blue tap land. Okay. Blue. And you can kind of grab your mountain out. I mean you you could run into you could in your red stuff's usually late. Like Savella is like great to have and we can easily get run over here, but boy, if we can just get that coma down. Oof. And you got a chariot. The chariot can get out of hand. And the real chariot, fast. yeah, chariot on curve. They don't board. Yeah, if they don't board anything and you chariot on curve, you can run over people that way too. So Some of these fig plants on eBay. Oh yeah, people will like are selling them and stuff, but that's not like kind of what you're doing. You're kind of like people like when I people will eventually buy them from me. I think around here, it's just like no every region, every they're like a trending plant. And people want them, so we'll see. Opponent taking their sweet time. That's coming up in the That's pretty. <laughs> it's, a low. it's a slow hand, but geez. I mean, we got we got our colors. The run ashore isn't quite as strong for your deck because you have no payoff for anything that you would bounce. But other than something that might be bound up with like a mountain gold or something like that. Right? You can keep it. You got coma. Yeah. You just kind of have to hope to stay alive. You have a Berg Strider, like in, you know, if you get an aggro deck, there's a chance that, like, that Wings hits a pick or something. There you go. Remnant Falls versus Remnant Falls. Coma versus Coma. They're, they're super snow. Look at this. This is going to take them four snow lands to kill the mystery. Yeah. Oof, Ascendant Spirit. Yeah, they are very snowy. I guess, hopefully they'll make it flying and I can just kill it. Pump a lot of mana into it. They eventually will. They're all snow. Oh, good. They didn't hit the four snow land. Can play that packmate straight out, huh? That's huge. Yes, I, well, once they make it flying, it's permanently flying. So they're gonna hit me with it, but that sucks. But you can't take a turn off here. You can tap it down next turn with the Berg Strider. Mm -hmm. He's Ramping, probably gonna ramp it into uh, stuff. Here. Take out the Berg Strider. <sighs> so I'll attack here. One damage. Turbo Snow opponent. You have coma mana though, that's like insane. They've got a miss one. Do you think it's best to run ashore on him next turn? Possibly. Feel like, or you could even do it now. 
if I run ashore both of them now, then I can get in, right? Right. Four damage. And then he spends all this time having to repump that dude, which you'll eventually kill with the broken wings. Yeah, I like that. So, uh, this on the library, I think. Right. Mm hmm. Go back to the hand. I have a count. Okay. Let's stick a coma next turn. Uh, Destroy their board first, but yeah. I think I just stick the coma. Yeah, it's pretty insane. Right opponent. <laughs> okay. mm -hmm. You're going to be triggered by Como like every time he does something. Um, well, should I just tap it down now? I guess I'll wait. No. Uh -oh. Just take it. I don't know what he's up to. Only pumped twice. You don't want to lose the miss walk right here, do you? I mean, you could block, but I don't. Like he's got something. Up yeah, it feels like it's like that sixteen. What's he doing? So this will you're gonna deal me some damage. <laughs> was nav conceded, but it was close. <laughs> yeah. I mean, what do you do with Coma on Curve? I like him. He's giving up a 3 3 to tap down the creature. Um, what did we see? From we saw, like, some decent. We didn't see anything that gets hit by Disdainful Strike. They were actually pretty fast. Like, they had lots of removal. You're They're obviously going to save their job. removal up to uh, hit Coma. What does a good job? Well, I don't know if the, uh, there's like not an answer at some point, right? Tacoma is just really hard to beat. The the Glade Walker feels good because it's a shapeshifter. The Glade Warden. Okay. I don't know. This is your deck. Like, did, did you see anything worth bringing in Disdainful Stroke for? I guess would be the that's, question. That's, that was the first question I had there. Did you not hear me? Oh, no. I didn't see anything. Though. No, I don't think they played anything but that you was didn't. for CMC. Yeah. They're going to go first go. again, I think. I think they're like fast value deck. Oof. We got a mulligan yeah, this. Mulligan this. You have no green. There you go. Keep that. Ship that run ashore, I think. Or you ship a land. Ship an island. It's more important to have Deep mana. I have the mana in this deck. I really could have used like um one of those worms that gains us four life. Mm-hmm. That one. Somebody else is definitely in green. You kind of just were like given these cards and you had to play out your your hand out. Well this feels good if you can get coma. <laughs> yeah, we're we're got a good mana position for coma. Yorn got a winter. Wow, they just got all the snow, didn't they? You all tap Yorn down next turn. Spell. Osmos. 
Well, they could have waited for me to attack. Uh, yeah, I think they, they misplayed that. Guy. Yeah, they definitely did. They could have eaten my harbinger. I would have definitely just attacked with that harbinger. Although, might have liked it in the graveyard. Oh, okay. Well, now I better draw coma because super. Uh, I guess I keep the Bergstrider back because it blocks your. Yeah, you gotta play. You gotta play defense. Defensive game plan. Where's my pilfering hawk? I need a pilfering. This only has a sorcery. I. I could have done it actually. Oh, you need six mana. Could you copy the Bergstrider? I could have copied what the Bergstrider. Yeah, that seems good. I don't even. I don't play enough of these lands. I um to think about. I guess it does keep us from getting coma. It's not gonna work, keep anything tapped down. Oh, it did. Well, it just it taps it. It just doesn't keep it tapped down. Right. So you're gonna attack. I guess I gotta attack with the four. Four. Okay. Their, their flyer deck here. Good. Green eyes. Sure. Yeah. Right, so we've seen two things now that, that can get. Right. That. I think, I think they got bound in gold. Eyes <laughs> they brought in bound of gold maybe just to deal with. Uh, that. The scry three on the rune eyes is actually surprisingly good. It is true. Oh, no block. Oh, I'm in there. Push through as much damage as they can. That didn't make any sense. Just for flyers. They basically got me beat. Replicating ringing. Do it. I guess they've only got five damage in the air, so... Well, they can pump. You're going to double as attack him with both the Burke Shredder. That'd be the only way you would win. He would miss an, uh, a crap. You, you would attack him. He'd let this in. He would miss. You would play, man, you know, Vandal for... You don't even show him the Vandal in the main deck. I don't even know if he played that out. All right, so I think you do sideboard in um, Arachnoform. Disdain, full stroke. No. Well, Arachnoform, yeah, maybe. She makes it. And then Disdain, full stroke, I think you do have enough targets. Uh, Just Inga and... Well, you saw Igna, and then you saw and the Cosmos, saw the Cosmos charge. Charger. Four. Yes, so what do we take out though. Um, you want the Broken Wings? Um, the Pilfering Hawk doesn't. Pilfering Hawk. Your Pilfering. And helps us loot to Harbinger. You take him out, Carfell, because your blo your ground blockers aren't very good. Carfell's. You'd rather hold it the same full stroke or have Pilfering Hawk. So I think Carful can be cut. Right, but if we have Arachniform in, I want Carful. Is Carful plus Arachniform blocks his flyers? You could also use Avalanche Caller or, or their flyers. You have the Mistwalkers. I think, I, I really do think the Pilfering Hawk and the Carful are kind of. You can. I mean, it's tough. We could also bring in the Brine Barrow and Tree. <sighs> like, I just feel so damage. much stronger to disdainful stroke something. Where to like give your creature make it hard for him to attack through something. The the I'm not as big on the arachnoform because it just seems to be setting you up, and I think they have enough removal. I just think that I mean, maybe you play it. Oh, what we take? Punisher. Well, we know that they tried to bring in um, bound and gold. You don't have the Runashore isn't as strong. To bounce two small creatures. You didn't see, like, if you're arguing against disdainful stroke, the bonus shark feels.
if you left 41 cards in there. Did I? Oh, yeah. I think I yeah. made two cuts. I took out the run ashore and the other one. Harbin. Hey. That's fellow. Wrong curve. Have a curve out. Got a snow okay. land. Tokens. I think actually I'll try to go Mistwalker into Kinseekers. That'll make Kinseekers big. Bella can't. Um, I mean, yeah, do you can go that at plan. the moment. I mean, yeah, you're not. You're just saying you're gonna do that instead of pooping tokens, and I can understand that game plan. It makes sense. I don't have anything to poop tokens out for for Svella's for, uh, ability, right. and they could remove ability. Svella. Right. <sighs> this is also the turn where you might hold up Disdainful Stroke. Right. But you'd also get it on an off, uh, another turn. I guess next turn I can play Svela and hold up Disdainful Stroke. Uh, yeah, I'll keep Coma. Right. <laughs> um, you don't have attack. I mean, you do, but you don't. You can. Do you want to get one through? Guess if they spend their turn pumping their guy, then that's good for me. So they probably have. Or counter spell. Um. Human Bolt. I like how the uh, Pilfering Hawk hides in the Miss Walker hide your counter spell. Be hard for them to figure out a like, sample stroke here. They even got a World Tree? Man, they had <laughs> quite the draft. Big... You can just the sample stroke hey. with that. Wow. Time walk, yeah. It's cool. It's interesting because you can throw a land at him now and go wide. All attack. We unlocked. Gotta remember they got the slumber round. Removal. He always eats removal. <laughs> getting close to uh, I need one more mana to coma. Up to something I could filter out. You can. <sighs> you can attack him with the Miss Walker and the three five and pump the Miss Walker, or when he gets through for two yeah. more, yeah. do three that way. And the the pilfering hawk. You don't have to. They can block. Use that they can mana. block and kill the pilfering hawk. So. Okay. Yeah. We are the beatdown, though. Mist walkers flying in to save the day. And Coma can't be countered. I know. <laughs> I when mean, what a feel bad, though, on, if, if you, when you play your seven mana mythic. Like, when you have those shapeshifters on the board, it's game over, really. Uh, yeah. Priest of the Haunted Edge could take it down, I guess, right? At six they, snows. They have six snows. Only snow lands, though. Far away from Spring Frost. Well, that's not quite a land, but I'll take it. Now you really can't attack through them. Uh, no. True. You get coma next turn. There's 
Should I guess I should have attacked first. Although, no, I only had two pumps, so it didn't matter. Here are the alt guard, sure. Get me to my next turn, please. He's going to get that snow land, so we got to keep an eye on how many... Oh, he's going to take out the pilfering hawk, I guess. No. You don't trade the... Wait they they, they'll wait till they get... The Mistwalker? No, they just have... Or it helpfully uses these, like, old old type lands. Right. They're, they've they've had something foretold forever. Play this, I can actually. Of course, I have nothing Ooh. to loot. Uh, it I doesn't know. matter. Yeah. Yeah, you, opponent, you can't counter it. No. Go to his turn. I'm just gonna start pooping out creatures he can't deal with. Good, Good game. game. Hate to beat you with coma two games, but I beat you with coma two games. Somebody passed me coma in pack two. I said yes, please. Coma doesn't tap when he becomes indestructible, right? Nope. We know they have bounding gold. They could just play bounding gold. Coma. However, Coma still. Caldering the rhyme staff. Okay. They're gonna bring the back. Staff, huh? They can bring back Bergstrider. Bergstrider. Okay. That's good. But they still have to cast Bergstrider from the graveyard. Oh, they can just keep bringing back the priest. Is the game plan? Huh. That's interesting. That's what the rhyme staff's used for. I'd never really put. Should that I just together. should I just tap down the rhyme staff now then, so they can't bring back the priest? With what? No. With coma. Well, he can tap the rhyme staff in response. I guess it's already there, right? Because right? it got sacrificed. Right. If it's during his main phase, I mean, like. Well. Yeah, but that's like comes into play tapped. It's not gonna help him. I mean, you could tap down the five four. Oh, I'll do it with the um the, river that doesn't have. Yeah. Oh, a Sika's chariot. <laughs> All right, so yeah, let's tap down the five four. He can only pump once. Can't kill anything. How many pumps can I go play? Two. Two. Oh. I was going to wait for them to concede when I played the Asika's Chariot. I mean, was that lethal? opponent had a great deck too. Like they're gonna, they're deck, gonna, yeah. they're gonna win more games. It's, yeah, it's tough, terrible for it? them that they had to play us round one, and that we got coma two out of three games on curve. But that's how the cookie crumbles. You're playing another. You're going hard. I'll be back here in a few minutes. I'm gonna get me some snacks. Okay. Keep our slow hand against little Yoshi. Little Yoshi gonna stick out the tongue. And <laughs> eat mushrooms. And such. Hello, little Yoshi. Keep giving us slow cards, I guess.
I'll play the Glittering Frost on the forest, I think, because it's... Although it doesn't look like opponent's going to have land destruction. We never know. Luckily, they seem pretty slow. Packmate. Darnheim Unleashed. Wow. Okay. Well. I could just squash that. Or I could take one hit from it and run ashore. And I like next turn playing Svela and I can't make it. Uh, watch that. Probably the correct play was. It has the foretelling. In the fore Get one more shapeshifter then. This argument actually to play it and then hold up squash. Probably should. Oh, it has a, unlocked a third color. Packmate, huh? I don't know why they didn't just play Packmate last turn. I wonder what they've got told there. Going to double spell this turn. Hurts. That really hurts. Take. That blocks the pack main now, so. Once again, one more creature. And up the air lake. Watch the pack. We don't know what they were going to do with that mana. You know that that pick is next turn pops the mirror lake bad kin seeker red rider yikes or we could play Coma. Sick. Uh, is it worth tapping that down? Get in with the for two? Probably not. That could actually block Coma, but uh, Coma's ability tap things. Death Nell Berserker. I am trembling in fear.
Hmm. I just run ashore here. Also, Mirror Lake. Here's a sorcery. only a sorcery yeah so they can make a 4-4 I guess they'd rather just jump um I think I'm just in a position to win the game so I'm just gonna hold up run ashore Coma, 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 and go. Coma and go. I can pull up my glittering frost. I didn't want to. I'm going to keep all the creatures in the graveyard that they can. Colossal Plow, huh. Can't crew it. Oh, it hasn't faced... Um, I guess I'll just keep holding up run ashore. Give up yet, opponent? They do. Didn't even have to show him run ashore. Oh, plow. Starnheim unleash. Playing left. Debs and good stuff here. Need a flyer. Stainful stroke might be good here. Could you it. bring in? Uh... I guess they had they had removal. We could bring in a snakeskin. So they're an aggro kind of an equipped black right. This blocks their two two. That blocks their green black. Yeah. Green cart graveyard sort of deck. Bring hawk doesn't do terrible. So Spring Hawk's kind of weak. You have a target for broken. Yeah, okay, that was my instinct too. The Glade Morden might be. So I don't know. I think they're going to mill you. I think they have mill, mill cards. Usually those green black decks do. You still on kid watching duty? No. Ooh, we got Agar. Agar and Squash and Vandal. On curve. Going first. Maybe turn two. Same for Droke, actually. Unless they, well, they, we know they have Packmate, so we could hit Packmate. Yeah, yeah. So if so they that, foretell in turn two, you If just they foretell, we'll just hold it up. Yeah. 
getting down a mass vandal. It's gonna activate your squash early, but and mind if I do. It did not foretell. Oh, hold on, hold on. Play your Sentinel. Because you don't have a turn two play. Well, I masked Vandal, but... You just want the Sentinel out, right? I guess they didn't foretell, no, right? So disdainful, disdainful strokes yeah, are not going to be. So they kept a hand where they didn't have a play on turn one, two, or three. It feels like they have a turn four play. It feels like they've got to have a turn four play, right? I just yeah, have to you can hold stroke. off if you want. Like Hagar's not going to beat him down. You can hold off because the next turn you can play Frost and then hold up the same stroke. You're having a hard ass set on stroking whatever Ooh, he's hit, got here. They hit their colors. What did they keep? They kept a hand with all their coma hate. Righteous Valkyrie. Okay. Got me on that one. Uh, so you could play well, I could your still frost and frost. Hold up. But you you want to make sure it taps and put you can put it on the island and you can hold up your stroke. Yeah. it up yeah you gotta go i think that was point. an angel too so they would have gained now you can play down that. agar and blast the righteous valkyrie that feels pretty strong right and you'll draw a card off of that <laughs> yeah they could you very well have hold, you could Starnheim have old pack mate that was your unleash. better play you should have foretold Pac-Mate off of Agar with the Sentinel. Harold unites the elf. Do they have an they elf, have an elf card, card in their graveyard? No, no they're just playing. Totally they're just they're just desperation oh, wow. digging. They should have played Pac-Mate first. You, you can see you're fine. Yeah, you can use the Sentinel to to ramp you too if you if that ends up happening. You just play out Harbinger. Harbinger. Well, they could have a board yeah. wipe. It's fine. I mean, they don't. They they're they could have a double wipe board wipe, but that seems like a desperation play. Let's see. So that. we've got seven damage on board. So Harbinger does not increase our clock at the moment. I think you just play Harbinger. All right. Like, unless you wanted to scare him about holding up a counter spell, like, I don't know why you would play out your board. Okay, Doom Scar. But if we could actually just be blanked by like a 4 4 here. And they do have Starnheim Unleashed, so they can. Or 6 6. Yeah, you can get blanked by a 6 6. You get the Miss Walker in. What is Harold Unite the Elves? So he doesn't have any elves to mine. They don't, they don't have any elves. It, it has given them zero value. It did mill a bunch of lands for them, actually. Which totally zero. You can mirror like something, too. You got to think about that as well. Yeah, mirror laking a pack mate is like, not terrible. It's pretty to draw. good. A 4-4 four, four draw, that draws a card, and you go wider. Just trying to get the coma. Another Lindworm, I'm sure. Nice. Uh, 
what we draw. Pack. Oh, run for a century. Yeah, but then he gets all that life back. But you could take your pack mate back. The 4-4 four, four and the 3-3 three, three block really well on one worm. Kind of a bad deal for him. And then if you did... Because he would have been like a carry with the 4-4. Four, four, then you could bring your pack mate and his other worm on top of his library. That doesn't feel too bad if that ends up happening next run. Right? If he got... Came downhill on you at some point or... You might maybe wait for him to have a combat trick or something. And they just got to worry about the air here, right? Because I can hit him for four in the air. Return. Can I hit him for three? Yeah, I guess I need another blue man. Okay, they're going to sacrifice a lindworm. Perfect. Interesting. Great. Well, they like their deck likes, token. um, yeah, their deck likes stuff in the So I think you Letting just bounce them both, right? You put the windworm on top of his library and return the token to his hand, and that's just is like going to clear the, the way for you. Make skin veil. No. The Linworm, they go back to 12. They're all attack, they eat the 4-4. Four, four. Oh, yeah. Ah, oh, there's Coma. Would you care to concede? No. You have now they can see. They did they needed one more damage there. <laughs> Should I have all attack there? No. Did I not do the math? I mean you could you could have like tapped down something with the Miss Walker and then like swung out with the bigger stuff and probably killed him, I guess. But what it is. You could have also just waited while Coma got bigger in strength. Oma, playing on easy mode. Uh, three, I had a couple of drafts Up against the night howler. Weird at the time that they howl. They even have like a cat. Look at that. We'll be howling mad when coma hits the board. Oh, well, <laughs> this this will be the games we don't get. Coma. We're, we're, That's right. We're bound to hit some variants. Yeah, your deck is basically coma though. It's a back end coma. Checking my email while I wait here. Okay. Well, the hawk can't get us. I guess we have glittering frost though. So keep this. One of these we play is going to depend on our opponent. They are aggro. We can get the lands. Yes, hello. 
Here you come to boast. One, three. Hopefully you will not play a bound in gold. <laughs> I really need some lands. To play Horizon Seeker, maybe? Oh, bro. We don't get a land pack me. Opponent is equally thinking hard about sequencing. Spectral. Okay. No blocks. For now. Boy, you need that pack, mate. Oof. Hard to beat the aggro deck if you don't draw lands. They're just drawing land. Maybe their whole hand is land. Please. Caller. Yo, I'm gonna chump with it. It's... Hey, I'm gonna chump with it. I have to remove it. I could have taken it another hmm. time. You could have taken another four, I think. Land, please. No. <sighs> we discard at this point the squash. Replicating ring is duplicate of. No. The frost yeah, actually. I mean, basically is worse than replicating ring. We'll ring tap at it least for ramps something. you from three. R ring at least ramps you from three. But it, probably like run shore or something like that. You're in there. You're like. Oh, we're far away from. Where you gotta get your chariot down and take this beating. Trade out with this 4 3. Probably where he uses the removal and then it's on the game. Getting Harold's Revenge. Have to block that? Yeah. Better than There's it. no answer for this. <laughs> we got a chest. All right, well, no, I can't say it was a good game, opponent, because I didn't draw any more lands. <laughs> um, right. So they're pretty quick aggro attack. They're super quick aggro. The snakeskin veil going to help us. How do you level up form. from, like, the... You need to level up on... A Barrow Intruder hawk. will help us. Yeah, that will be better than Pilfering Hawk. Well, even the Pilfering Hawk would have traded with their team. Yeah, you can keep your, your lower drops in. You don't necessarily have... Did we see any targets broken for Broken Wings? Wings? I guess we saw they had we one enchantment. Flyers. Yeah, they have an enchantment. I would assume they that they They don't have, have anything that... You don't have to main deck it here in game two since you didn't see any flyers, but there's... They probably have it. I I don't think Hawk is your, like great trade option there like if you had anything that got you a better ground position would be... green white aggro we'll play oh, i'm gonna keep yeah. this because the pack yeah. mate pack mate the risky keep though hey they didn't play a one drop on oh that's a two one Yeah, these Mistwalkers should.
Hey. The Miss Walker may be your better play here. It blocks if, the long. Because it can come out and create yeah. the long bow. It's more mana efficient. Close if it got no land. Pack. Yeah, I think you can still pack land here. Hopefully, you get a land. Another cheap squash there. Something red, right yeah. Dang, what is it? The mana and you this. Papa, this ain't this ain't good though. You can get a spell on board. You got a squash. You got a bird strider coming down. You got. Did I get in the one? Am I the beat down right now? No, you stay back. Yeah. He's gonna cure something. We'll trade off the pack mate. The long boat. Pack mate holds back that T two pretty well. You want to gain any life, extra life. It's gonna have to remove or an answer for something. I don't know. I don't know how much removal they're playing. They just look like a green-white go-wide. It's probably a Warhorn Blast. I guess you can play the Ken Seekers if you can get another land, right? Is that the turn four play? Yeah, that's a pretty good... That's it. a pretty good... It's a good blocker. Or we've got Replicating Ring Squash something. Okay, yeah, here they come. Gonna plus up their bo longboat. Okay, I think you double block here, right? Because you're just trading the pack mate for it, for the Miss Walker. It's still a one for one trade. I don't think I keep the Miss Walker around. I, I can squash that no, thing if I can get red. I, I think you double block here. That'd be my call on it. But... He's got a Wings of the Cosmos. He's really just dumping hand. ramping here. Yeah, that's your best play though. Better than the ring. So you can't cast anything off the ring. Well, the ring would start replicating. But... More land we can Berg Strider down and that will reveal Whoa. some tempo here. He might have a Master Scald here that will bring back the long boat. Thinking why that long boat attack might have taken place. I'm gonna trade it. I'm going to trade off. Okay. Bragro. Unfortunately, that. Mentor checks right through you. Um, yeah, I can take four from the mint. So, I mean, I guess they ramp, but look, they got a lot of land, so. Yeah. Maybe not as important. Need this Kin Seekers around because I got doubles. You got, you, yeah, you got the. You do. Take care. Like that. In the whole hand, okay. See what they got. Gotta kill. What they got. So hold on. No, I guess you I can't only quite have... replicating ring and you only have three squash. mana. I mean I could Bergstrider actually tap down. Nice. Wait till you see. Wait till I double squash on you, man. Yeah, but the problem is, is now the Elder Leaf's going to trade for the Berg Strider. I guess you're okay with that.
Harold, no. Warhorn Blast. They have a Warhorn Blast. This still kills. So. Die. Right. Kill that it's guy. Yeah. Called it. Okay. That sucks though, because your squashes are ridiculous. Oh expensive yeah, my now. squashes are. You have to squash the five five though, because you can't play Como, can you? Love to get the rep. Get the ring down. And yeah, play spell Spella. Out. That's about as good if he Take doesn't have a removal spell. Yeah, you just take out the fire there. Here. You don't know. Like, they could have had the Sphinx King Dale. Ooh. So I almost have to hit that now. Play the tap land and I think you smash the Valkyrie. You can wait till his turn. Hold on, wait till his turn because he's got the equipment on it. Take a less save a damage. Alright. One man off coming to the future land. Uh, you did that before attackers, huh? Yeah, because they still can't equip. Let's draw a land and you can play Coma, right? Drop that. Keep drawing. 3-3 three, three better than a 2. It trades with the life linker. Hey, I have another Warhorn Blast or Ghost. You win. Spell <laughs> Serpent. Serpent! Huge. Is it nice? So it's impossible to be here. We'll pop that on a spell the next turn. We could have bounding gold. Okay. Cards in hand. Try to go wide on us somehow. Oh, they're going wide. It's a good little build they got. Mm -hmm. You can't go wider. Fella. The reason I popped them in. Now who's wide? I think I wait one more turn before. Yeah, you wait another Super turn. wide right? by then. You just can't afford that. They they grab they grab a removal spell. They've got that thing that yeah. gives a super trample too. The King Harold's whatever. You can tap it down, like once they King Herald that creature. Moving it over, yeah. okay. Yeah, I don't know what they're doing. Tap it down. Why would you... I don't think you have to do that. You just swing those guys in. He's just going to trade. 
You don't have to tap this guy's down. You can attack with those three trees. They kill they kill stuff. He's at twenty six. You gotta wipe out his board. You just start attacking him with those three threes. Uh -huh. In in coma for that matter. I mean, like uh no, they have enough attacking. to block up on coma. I guess I can make it indestructible now. Right, as you attack him with the three threes. You just attack him with it in the three threes. No, not spell it, not the bird. You're not all everything. You're gonna leave one of the three threes back. <sighs> Why well, worry about their crack back, right? So like right, so I want at least one four blockers. I want at least four blockers back. Maybe even right, five if one they the have removal. Well, I'm gonna have to sacrifice a three. Right. Well, you could leave uh, two of the three. Th you could just do it like that. That's fine. No big deal. You also got spell at in an instant, like as a blocker, instant speed stuff. He like has bad blocks. You're getting another three three back next turn. Not wider than you. Not giving up on this game though. <laughs> they did the math, okay. Is this the three three comes out every upkeep? It's crazy. Um is this our deck? Um I need more of theirs now. Talk. So they had the Outrider the Valkyrie, the Mentors, the Warhorn Blast. I think actually we do have stuff for Stainful. Okay. I think the Pilfering Hawk is can be upgraded from it just is not. It's not. It blocks blocking. all their it's one ones. It blocks all their one. They have a ton of one ones. They do. I mean, I I understand. Like, it's good for some decks. You have some snow. You can get. You can loot for. Uh, Blade Warden seems very slow. Yeah, you were making some. They had doing some interesting trades. You just don't have very many more bodies, for them. The um, also a snake. All right, I'm gonna take out the hawk. You did see the one flyer, the angel. You did see the right. Yeah. So I mean, yeah, the hawk plus the glade warden. Plus an well, I was thinking about broken that. wings. And I guess they had the longboat, so that's two targets. And the the big flyer, the three two flyer. Plus two plus two. And the uh, we saw they had the pick. Rush is too slow. Well, the the glade warden's not very good. Like it's like like a traitor. You're just like kind of playing a more controlly build here. Well, we got chariot, and you got you got your bombs. You're just trying to let survive till they happen. They, they could easily just get another god hand and run us over. But the coma. Have we won a game not getting coma? Is the question. Oh, okay. geez, I think I can keep this because it's stupid. You can. Really suck, though, if I can't it's play really Miss Walker on curve. Yeah, that's, a, that's the tough thing if he gets fouled fast. And... They mulliganed. To usher the fallen on one, of course. Oh uh, well, we got dead man. How about an island deck? Would you can usher the got? Just always get it. They're debating. I mean, it's not really a debate, right? If it, just get the free one one. I guess they they might have the thing that gives it going. plus two plus two, and then just wondering if like there's any way I can beat that. Oh, 
Oh, okay. They're trying to decide. So that's easy. If that was better than uh, making a one-one. Yeah. Which was a long decision on their part. Right, because if I drop my one threes here. But who knows what else they had in hand to get past my one threes. Sure. I guess maybe they didn't have anything else in hand. Your one oh. fours. Oh, cop. Well, now we're going to drop one. The other. Something. We're going to take some serious damage here. In the meantime. Maybe opponents just gonna time out. We will find out. Do they have a third land? Maybe they don't have a third. The uh They didn't attack? No, they timed out. <laughs> the night howler get called away. Join the pack. Oh, they're back. They're back. We save four uh, damage there if we win this sure. game by the skin of our teeth. <laughs> and connection issues. That feels really strong play. Get that and your sentinel down. and they tap a mist walk. They're gonna have they're gonna have trouble getting through this. What you have here, hopefully you can draw into something and just save your squash for something worth. People are not taking these high enough, I'm telling you. There's so much aggro running around. I think you would have for sure rather had two mist walkers and a bold. Well I didn't know I was gonna get three mist walkers. I actually think right now I would not want Behold against this deck. I mean... I I want stuff that affects the board. It, gave, it gives you... High toughness creatures. Right. Well, Good. Oh. What did they turn out? <laughs> no, they just uh, gave up. After... Um, the double mist walkers, they were just and like, I, we can't do it. There would come uh, in the stack. It's late. Wow. Okay, well, <laughs> thanks for joining me here in the attic. Let's take a look at this deck. There's a coma oh, and a chariot. That's light of promise. Uh, chariot we, we never got the chariot out, did we? We never, never even got to. We played coma like five times. We never got the chariot out. Never saw its wheels. <laughs> Chariot stayed safely hidden in the deck. So yeah, I mean, Agar we got out once and zapped. It's fellow by the time we actually kept it out. No, one game. Agar was that was a nice turn because you hit something with the squash the turn you played Agar and you drew a card off yeah, of it. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah. And it ramped you closer to coma. I think Agar it was, was worth it splashing red. If I'm going to go back and look look at what were our decisions that were difficult, splashing red. I think was worth it. Like, we didn't have too many problems hitting our red. No, not with where those we got stuck. Two and we got the I, I definitely think that there was like games against the aggro decks where we had the glittering frost and the replicating ring in hand, and it's very slow. And we would have rather just had some like small creatures that could hold down the board. Uh, yeah. On the other hand, I think those helped us get to coma several times, and helped us get to Bergstrider and like you know. Run ashore. Yeah, Run ashore did all right in a couple games. You didn't have as many targets, and it like, other than the the wolf would have been the only thing you really want to bounce back to your hand consistently, maybe. But um, seemed to play pretty 
solid that turn you bounce the angel bounce the worm yeah bouncing people's tokens Good. all right well uh rate subscribe all that stuff unless you're a contrary person then don't do that definitely don't subscribe to me don't find out first all the stuff on my shelf that i'm going to give away um thank you for joining me here in the attic i have been manadad with broby one kenobi Two dads who play magic, showing you that even dads have fun playing magic. That's how fun a game it is. Adios. Later.